your pancreas is an endocrine gland and even when you start taking digestive enzymes people come in here a year two years later on digestive enzymes started to see their symptoms be better at first and then come back and it's because your pancreas is an endocrine gland and when you take digestive enzymes what I've seen is that your pancreas doesn't supply them just like any other endocrine gland just like taking any other hormone steroid neurotransmitter or the like so this is what I see you'd be better to take the pancreatic formula a, a, or a good pancreatic botanical formula that'll st that'll stimulate the pancreas to produce its own enzymes to deal with this that's the nature of the beast even with plant-based enzymes you always see the the mixture of the of the acid and the base you always see this you always see these wacky digestive enzymes and uh, I just uh, you can take them if you want you know my reasoning is what I see as the result of taking them that's what I see and this idea that your digestive enzymes when they're lost they'll not come back is ridiculous uh, anything I eat melons oranges mangoes etc it all comes out looking literally the same as when ingested I am constantly bloated and gassy I also get pains in the stomach area radiating to the back when eating certain fruits like melons you know and that, I, I hate to hear that because I do know that that is a digestive problem since it is carbohydrates. You know that carbohydrates uses the pancreas as its digestive gland. And so uh, this would indicate digestive uh, enzyme problems. Now the problem comes in here with the use of digestive enzymes to get remedy because you will in turn feel better for short periods of time but I'm getting them in here more regularly now showing extreme digestive problems after taking long-term digestive enzymes I feel it is a big time no-no unless it's maybe those papaya ones I just find that uh, one has to be very careful when we're dealing with endocrine exocrine glands and that's just what the pancreas is just like all the other glands the adrenals and everything else we don't sometimes consider the pancreas as a gland and we talked about the insulin by giving insulin your beta cells quit producing it the same thing is by giving cortisone your adrenals quit producing cortisol you, when you take it your body quits making it and then you really compromise yourself for the sake of a short-term remedy so I uh, me I'm going to be on the pancreatic formula two three times a day I'm going to do small meals more often and I'm going to digest in my mouth more I'm going to sit there and chew and I taught myself this years ago and I'm always the last one at the table to leave because I'm a I'm a slow chewer now I don't sit there and swallow my food the fact that you're feeling that sort of thing does show that you have issues with the stomach and the pancreas and maybe even the liver so the liver of course deals with fatty acids and so that you, you would find that if you had more fatty type maybe even fruit like avocados that might bother you and if you were having both gallbladder liver and hepatic and pancreatic problems you could actually alternate one bottle of pancreas one bottle of liver gallbladder one bottle of pancreas and one bottle of liver gallbladder and I would do the capsules on these particularly with the pancreas and the liver gallbladder because they're stronger I think um, the same time you know I'm going to use the GI broom I'm not going to try to push my foods through too fast but I'm going to try to get some uh, some some you know some astringent action going uh, again this goes back to chronic bowels uh, branches off the tree the pancreas the liver gallbladder how they're going down like fruit is the simplest food on the planet to digest you can't get much simpler than fruit to digest and if you're having problems with those that, that to me shows more of a serious nature now you could do a pancreatic glandular uh, boy I would uh, just to hit that pancreas with a glandular to try to wake up those cells the same time I take a look at the pituitary just as a look-see because that baby the head area controls everything 
You could use lower circulation to move blood more aggressively in the pancreas, the pancreatic capsules, pancreatic glandular, uh, chew more, digest more in your mouth, smaller meals more often, things like that. Get more aggressive with the cleaning of the gut, the GI tract. Uh, definitely, though, definitely have to realize that on top of all of this, You've got to get your kidneys filtering because why do we have pancreatic or liver gallbladder problems or gastric stomach problems? Why do we have these problems? And this, you can go right to the diets men have been on, but these diets, these high protein diets have not only uh, set up a lot of degrading of tissue, but in particular the, the GI tract and kidney tissue. Every time I eat more than one piece of sweet fruit in a day, I get really bad gas. Now, that's interesting to me. However, I've been watching your vids, and I really want to do a lip. Yeah, I don't know. Now, you could have sulfur in there where the fruits are breaking up that sulfur, and you get gas. If you're getting gas because you're not digesting your fruits, and you're getting fermentation, that's another problem. You'd want to take the pancreatic formula. You might want to do it for a month anyway just to kick the pancreas in gear. You know, when you eat fruits and you get loose stools, then you're probably looking at pancreatic uh, or more probably pancreatic than hepatic. All right, here's another one. Uh, do you believe a raw liquid diet could heal pancreatitis? Uh, uh, sweetheart, this uh, pancreatitis, of course, again, go to the pancreas. What is the pancreas made of? That's right, a bunch of cells and two fluids. So when you see an itis, whether it's pancreatitis, hepatitis, or liveritis, uh, colitis, uh, 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 inflammation of the colon, inflammation of the pancreas, inflammation of the joints, Arthur, uh, Arthur's in the house, uh, you know, all these things, that's acids are in the house. Get the acids out of the house. That's the lymph system, sweetheart, and that's probably saying you also have it interstitially in the colon wall. And so it's hard for me to tell with your picture if you're malabsorbed from that, but you look a little skinny down below, real possible here that uh, it's affecting your ability to absorb your food as well, honey, and also digest your fruits and vegetables. If you're seeing pieces of fruit or vegetables not being digested in your stool, that's a problem. The question is, I know you don't like digestive enzymes, but is there a downside to taking pancreas glandulars? Uh, no, not at all. I would rather see you take a pancreatic glandular, which affects the cells in terms of a, a, an energetic way, as opposed to taking what they need to produce. Uh, it is so much better to deal with uh, making cells healthy. And glandulars are more aimed at cell energetics as opposed to what cells are producing. Uh, you know, when it comes to the endocrine glands, when we deal with what cells are producing, we then lose the cell. And we see this in the medical world a lot with the steroid use. Uh, bad, bad thing to do. Excessive thinness is also understanding a little bit more about digestion, pancreatic problems. Um, I remember I had a young uh, lady in here. She was only 15 years old. Her mother brought her in sat in front of me, kind of pompous a little bit, and said, I, my, my daughter's got candida. I want you to get that out of her. So I looked at the daughter and I said, well, mom, your daughter has a much more serious problem. And her mother looked at me like, what? And I said, look how thin she is. And boy, <clears throat> that daughter just took off crying. Boy, she was crying. You know, I said, uh, you eat all you want, don't you? And she said, I do. She said, they call me anorexic and bulimic. She says, but I eat all I want. And I said, I know you have a, you have a pancreatic and probably malabsorption. And so, uh, fixed her up, got the kidneys filtering, got her up, got her absorbing, got a little muscle on her. She's now a model in New York City.